We frequently receive questions about so-called life rights. What are life rights? When do you need them? And how do you get them? Well, life rights are not rights in and of themselves. Rather, the term life rights refers to a bundle of rights, which includes a person's right to control the use of their image, name, and likeness, and other defining personality characteristics, the right to privacy, and the right to protect their reputation. You might consider acquiring life rights if you're producing a movie, writing a book, or creating some other work that tells the story of a real person, or uses facts, events, images, or recordings of real people. However, the question of when you actually need permission to use life rights depends on the context. In Canada, using a famous person's image without their permission has been found to be a misappropriation of personality in the context of advertising, but not when the work is in the public interest. Personality rights are enjoyed by famous or recognizable individuals, people with value to their name. However, the exact scope of personality rights and whether they are enjoyed by non-famous people is uncertain. Another element of life rights are privacy rights. An individual's privacy rights may be engaged where there's an invasion of their private affairs or publishing of private aspects of their life without their permission or lawful justification. Additionally, the publication must be seen as highly offensive and not in the public interest. Finally, a person can be liable in defamation for publishing or making statements about another person that are harmful to their reputation. Importantly, statements that are true are clearly recognizable as comment as opposed to fact, or that our responsible communications on matters of public interest are not defamatory. So how do you get life rights? Well, usually through a contract, sometimes referred to as a life rights agreement. The life rights agreement is prepared to reduce the likelihood that you will get sued for misappropriation of personality, invasion of privacy, defamation, or other potential claims. You may not actually need life rights to tell a person's story. I doubt Mark Zuckerberg gave his blessing to the producers of The Social Network. However, it's usually a good idea to get them if you can. While you might be legally justified in telling a person's story, that doesn't mean you can't be sued for it. And generally, it's better to be safe than sorry.